Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to take you on a little adventure. So it's gonna be more of a vlog today. The reason why I wanted to do this video was to show you a dining out lean and green meal that you could possibly do on your plan. I have this handy dandy uh, dining out guide that I actually got from the Optavia program. And you can actually order this online and add it to your monthly order. Very inexpensive, I think it's like $1.50. So here it is. So yes, it's $1.50. So if you add this to your next Optavia order, you are going to get a handy dandy little dining out guide. You're gonna see all the different choices. It gives you a lot of helpful tips. There are a lot of restaurants that are not locally here in Arizona, but a lot of choices that you can definitely choose from. Um, I know there's like Olive Garden, Carrabba's, Texas Roadhouse in here, Outback Steakhouse. But today, since I'm gonna be basically shopping, I just wanna get something quick and easy tonight. So I thought about getting Chick-fil-A tonight. I am going to possibly get either the spicy Southwest salad, but I also saw this grilled chicken nugget. So I'm gonna get this and I'm also gonna do a side salad. So let's head out and get going. All right, changed my outfit, a little bit more comfortable. And I'm gonna grab my dining out guide and then um, a few more things and we are gonna go. All right, so I've made it to Chick-fil-A. I'm now waiting in the drive through line. I've decided on the way over here that I'm gonna get the grilled chicken nuggets, a side salad with just lettuce and tomato, and I'm gonna do some light Italian dressing as well. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I actually brought my food scale from home just to weigh and measure everything to see how close it is to an actual lean and green meal. So I will do all that once I get my food here. Just real briefly, as I'm in line at Chick-fil-A behind these trees, let me see if I can scoot up a little and you can see there is a new salad and go coming up. I'm super excited about that. If you live in Arizona and I think also in Texas, they also have these salad and goes. Super, super great place. They have some really good salads there. So maybe one of these days I can do a leading green from there as well. All right, so let's review Chick-fil-A here. So I got the light Italian dressing. So for the side salad, actually they did put dressing in here already. I should have asked them to not put the dressing, but this is the side salad. This is the kale salad. Now, this is probably not gonna be enough greens. I can already tell that already. This is probably one serving of greens. So I'll probably need to add two servings of greens later today. And I also got the grilled chicken nuggets. There's a 12 count in there. I need a fork. And I will take out my food scale just to see how much chicken there is. Actually, I'm not sure now. I'm not sure if this already has the light Italian dressing. So this is a kale salad. Pretty good. Like I said, there's not enough greens in here to count as your leaning grain. If we want, we can actually get out the scale and weigh out everything just in case. So I'm gonna set this down. So I got my handy dandy bowl that I brought from home. So this was already zeroed out. Put my bowl on here, clear this out. Now for kicks and giggles, let's weigh and uh, measure our salad here. I should have gotten two side salads. And there's dressing in here too, so that might throw off the measurement. So as of right now, that's 33 grams of kale. And I believe, I don't know what that is, maybe cabbage or what else is in there? I'll have to double check. Um, but that is 33 grams right there. And again, that is including the dressing. And so I also brought the vegetable conversion chart. So if we look at the kale down below, it does say for kale, uh, for raw kale, it is 33.5 grams. So if you're wanting to do possibly a salad or your full veggie servings at Chick-fil-A. I would say get three of these or just possibly get a regular salad with just tomatoes and lettuce and you should be okay with that. So, but if not, if you have some time left in, left in the day like I am, I will probably add two servings of vegetables uh, when I get home. So I'll probably cut up some cucumbers or have like a little mini salad later 
or add some spinach to one of my shakes this evening. So, um, but anyways, that is the kale salad. Now let's go ahead and measure out the grilled chicken nuggets. And I'm gonna put my chicken in here. Okay, so fairly close. So if we're looking at chicken, it needs to be about six ounces of chicken after it's cooked. So very close, 5.5 .5 ounces. So if you want, really wanna be meticulous and have you know a half ounce of protein later too. And since I just brought my bowl with me, I'm just gonna toss my salad in here too. Mine as well. Here it is, here's the grilled chicken nuggets with the kale side salad. Um, again, if you wanna make this a full lean and green, definitely add more veggies. So if you wanna get three sides of kale salad or just one big salad with just tomatoes and lettuce and do the light um, Italian dressing on the side, you can for sure do that. And then of course the grilled chicken nuggets lives up to about six ounces. It was 5.5 .5 ounces when I measured it here. So you are good to go with the protein unless you wanna add a little bit of protein later in the day. So there we have it. Let's go ahead and enjoy my kale chicken salad for today's lean and green meal. All right, so if anybody is curious, the chicken nuggets was $7.95, the side cow salad was $2.29, so that came out to $11.29 I paid for my lean and grain meal today. Also, another thing that I realized is when I was looking in the book, the dining out guide, that on the 12 count grilled chicken nuggets, it actually says it counts as a leanest, not a leaner, which is chicken typically is in the leaner six ounce category. So I'm gonna contact nutrition support at Optavia and see what they say, because if that's the case, I only had 5.5 ounces of protein. That means I still need about one and a half ounces of protein to make up for that seven ounces for the leanest category. So let me call them and let me see, let's see what they say. All right, so I just got off with nutrition support at Optavia and yeah, they confirmed that the 12 chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A is actually seven ounces of protein. So that means tonight I will probably add a little bit more, um, obviously more veggies. So I need two more servings of vegetables and then one and a half ounces more um, chicken. All right, let's 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 get on with our day. I'm actually gonna get some coffee from Starbucks and head to TJ Maxx. Okay, so I just got my coffee, yes! I got my power back, so I got my coffee. And so nice of them, they gave me the side of half and half and gonna count this as part of my healthy fat. So let me turn this around so I can show you how much I'm gonna be adding into my coffee. And I seriously need to clean my car, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. So we're gonna add in one, five, and six. So three teaspoons actually equals one tablespoon. So this is gonna be basically not even half of a healthy fat. So good, so good. Also, really shortly before I leave here and actually get to TJ Maxx, another thing that you could actually do with your coffee from Starbucks or if you go to Dunkin' Donuts or any coffee place, if you order an iced black coffee, you can actually add in one of your shakes to it and count that as part of one of your fuelings and plus you're getting some coffee there as well. I'll post a photo of what I've done with mine so you can kind of get an idea of what I mean by that or if you're a big fan of like the skinny syrups, I'm sure we're gonna see some here at TJ Maxx. Um, those are also fun ways to spruce up your coffee as well, so. All right, so I finally made it home. I actually went after Chick-fil-A and Starbucks. I went to TJ Maxx. Didn't find really much. I only bought this um, really cute coffee mug. Like I need another coffee mug in my house. But, couldn't resist. It says Aquarius. Um, it's the Ray Dunn collection and that is my horoscope. So I had to get this cup. Then I went to a Dollar Tree. I just got some like cards, greeting cards. Got this cute little plate possibly to place my feelings on it. You'll probably see that. That's pretty much it for Dollar Tree. And then now, and then I went to Target. Got this grilled chicken um, breast strips. Um, they're organic, and when I looked at the nutritional facts, I mean, it fits within the protein guidelines, so I'm gonna make this possibly maybe tomorrow for lunch, make a salad tomorrow. 
So I got two flavors of the nut pods, the French vanilla and the hazelnut. Both are approved on program. I've already had the hazelnut before and it is super good. So I'm gonna try the French vanilla and see how that tastes. Is. I'm sure it's gonna be really good. And the last thing I got is the non-fat plain Greek yogurt. So that's basically all I got from my store today. I just kind of browsed around, uh, really just didn't really find anything, anything that really um, popped out. Just got some staples that I needed and that's pretty much it. All right, friends, that does it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you really enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also too, if you have any questions about the dining out guide or anything pertaining to dining out on the Optivia 5-in-1 program, let me know down in the comment section below. In the meantime, have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video.